Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. I am really excited to share with you a mod that I have been waiting for ever since I started settlement building in Fallout 4. Now, I'll be... I'll be using this mod in my uh, Sanctuary Settlement. I haven't done a video about my Sanctuary Settlement yet because it's still very much a work in progress. Uh, so I'm not quite ready to show it off as an efficiency build. But I'm using it right now because I want to show you how this mod works. The Settlement Management mod gives you a bunch of really important statistics about your settlements that you otherwise could never get. Uh, it does only work for the PC, so I'm sorry console players, but it's PC only for now. And in order to get it to work, you install the mod, and then you place a terminal inside your settlement. Then open up your terminal, <clears throat> your terminal, and load the settlement management holotape. Once loaded, it shows you a bunch of great stuff about your settlement, including basic statistics. Um, these are just the basic statistics about your settlement that you can get at any time yourself by opening up the workshop. But it gives you other interesting things like uh, the percentage or, or the number of beds in your settlement that are actually used. So I have 60 beds, but only 54 are used at the moment. Um, now, there are a couple of things that I don't understand. My happiness is only at 68 for this settlement, but it says happiness target 88.7. And I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it means that if I leave things exactly the way they are right now, that over time my happiness will grow to 88.7 but I, I don't really know what that means uh, maybe you guys can tell me and then it tells us uh, the number of in-game days since the last attack so pretty interesting stuff but the real beauty of this mod comes into the settler management so the first option is you can list all settlers which is great and as you can see I have many of the named settlers in the game here in Sanctuary including Sheffield who's sent to far uh, uh, farming and I've got Sturges scavenging but here's an interesting bit Mama Murphy is set to working and that's very different from being unassigned so look at all of these settlers that I have working 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 they're all set to working which is different from scavenging and food and then towards the end of the list I actually have some settlers that are unassigned now I want many of my settlers at least half of them to be unassigned because unassigned settlers will shop at your shops and generate revenue. Uh, but one of the things that I did, well, I'll, I'll get that into, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Now, Mama Murphy, let's go back to Mama Murphy. It says that Mama Murphy is working, but let's go take a look at her. Where is she? Well, she's not working. She's standing in this corner looking at a blank wall. Why? Well, in a different playthrough of mine, I managed to assign Mama Murphy to a scavenging station. And she worked. She actually scavenged and she pulled out her gun and walked around. But for some reason in this game, which is my first playthrough, she's perpetually set to working, even though in workshop mode, you hover over her and she's, it says that she's unassigned. And you can't assign her, you can't target her, you can't do anything with her. So. I think what this mod has allowed me to do is identify a bug in the game where some of your settlers will say that they're unassigned when in reality they're bugged. You can't assign them and you can't get them to work. Now this is important for a number of reasons because one of the things that I did is I had 20 or so settlers set to scavenge. Now in order to make money, I removed many of their scavenging stations and uh, I assumed that that unassigned them. But then I began to notice that many of these same settlers, who were now no longer assigned to scavenging, would walk around wearing their hard hats and with their guns out, as if they were still assigned. But then when you hover over them in-game, it says that they're, they're unassigned. Well, what I've, what I've discovered is that there's a bug in the game, where if you remove the resource from a settler while they're uh, assigned to it, it doesn't unassign them. And you can prove this using this terminal. So let me show you how that works. Go to the terminal, load the holotape. Go to manage settlers, and then click mark unassigned settlers. And what this does is it marks on your map all of the settlers who are unassigned. So check it out. Look, this settler lounging about on this bench is unassigned. 
and you can open up your map. Make sure that you click local map. So if you don't know how to, how to do that, this is the world map. You can see all of the unassigned settlers here in Sanctuary. Then click R to toggle your local map and you can spot them more easily on the map. And not surprisingly, the unassigned settlers are wandering around and over there. But look at the settler. She's walking around as if she's assigned to a scavenging station. But let's see. Oh, she is. Okay. Well, um, that's a bad example then. But what I've noticed is that sometimes you're going to see some of your scavengers walking around as if they're assigned to scavenging when they're actually not. And that's the point of this. But anyway, you can see all of my unassigned settlers walking around with a nice little target over their head and it shows that they're no longer assigned. Uh, now, I... I want Make to... A move and I'll end I want to show off how this works because it is important. Here we go. Here's an example. So, look at her. She's walking around with her gun drawn as if she's assigned to scavenging. But when you hover over her, it says that she's unassigned. So, without the mod, I would think, well, she's unassigned and she's generating revenue for my settlement by purchasing from the shops but the mod is telling me that no she's not actually unassigned because look she doesn't have the marker over her head she's assigned to this uh, this working category whatever that means and this is why it's a bug in the game because you can't actually make her unassigned once a settler is assigned to a task you can only ever assign her to new tasks you can't ever make uh, that settler assigned to anything else which is a huge frustration. Like, my only option now is to either kill her and hope that a new one responds so that that, that new, or respawns so that that new settler will, will come into my territory marked unassigned and then um, start buying from my shops. Or I just need to say, well, I'm not going to generate revenue with this settler. I might as well assign this one to a job. So this mod has answered a question that I have long asked. So very thank you very much, oh mod author and I will link to this mod in the description of the video okay but there's still a whole lot more that this mod can do so let's load the holotape again let's go to manage settlers and unmark all settlers I no longer want to see them marked let's go to tasks and look at all of this mark all provisioners this this not only marks all the provisioners in your settlement but it marks all provisioners in the entire game look at this look at my compass Look at my compass. So the way I played this particular playthrough is I, I, I have every single settlement in the game and I assigned one settler to be a provisioner from each settlement. Now most of that I did from here in Sanctuary. But when Automatron came out, I actually created an individual robot to represent each settlement and I created a provisioner. I, I made that robot a provisioner. So as you can see, I have so many robots wandering the Commonwealth. Uh, let's take a look. So this is the local map. Let's take a look at the world map. Look at that. For the first time ever, I'm finally able to pinpoint where all my settlers are. And you can see that they're moving ever so slightly. They're moving throughout the world. Uh, and it just, it's, it's super helpful. If I ever want to track down a settler, I can, a, a provisioner, I can. And you can see that I've got a, a nice cluster of them uh, coming up to Sanctuary because Sanctuary was the first settlement from which I made all of my settlers come from. And then you can see that I have a nice collection of them going to the Mechanist's Lair, which is where I had all my robots come from. And just to prove it, we should expect to see three provisioners coming uh, from the south entrance of Sanctuary over the bridge right about now. So let's hop on down and see if we've got a marker over their heads. Oh, it looks like one of them is taking the scenic route. So she, she decided to wade across instead of go over the nice, handy wooden bridge, which is right here for that exact purpose. What are you doing? Why are you swimming? Weirdo. All right. Well, I just did that. I'm pretty pleased. Anyway, uh, I'm not showing off the settlement. No, that's for a different video at a different time. All right, let's go and talk about some of the other things that the settler management mod can do. It's really useful. Let's see if this one is assigned. Yep, see it says unassigned, but it's broken. What an annoying glitch.
Alright, load the holotape. Go to tasks. I'm gonna unmark all provisioners. Now here's a cool thing. Some may consider this a cheat, but uh, I'll let you decide. Mark attack spawn points. Now let's check this out. Open up your mini map, go to local map, zoom out, and look at that. All of the spawn points for that settlement that you're in are noted on the map. And this is going to be useful when creating your missile turrets. Now, in my previous uh, settlement walkthroughs, I showed you my way for figuring out from which direction your enemy is attacked. And that's f by looking for the guns that they drop on the ground. There should be a huge collection of guns on the ground from the directions when they, where they usually come. But look at this. This matches up exactly with that strategy. Here's a missile turret system. I I've got this elevated uh, uh, guardian turrets set here pointing exactly this direction, which just so happens to be where not only we find a gun, but the map marker says that enemies spawn from this exact location. So I don't really consider this a cheat because I think this is information that you can very easily deduce yourself in the game. I just think that it's a super convenient and handy way to mark the locations of the attack spawn points from within each settlement so that you can better place your settlement defenses. So this is, I'm just so excited about this mod. I know I'm geeking out about it, but I've been wanting something like this and waiting for a clever modder to create something like this for ages and ages. And finally, finally a modder did. All right, uh, let's unmark all attack spawn points. Now, this mod says that it can trigger attacks, but it also marks it as highly experimental. And I'm, I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. And uh, the final bit is uh, settings and cheats, yes and no. I think that this just removes all options that are considered cheats. No, you can still do the spawn points. Oh, it removed the, uh, the force uh, uh, attack option. So this just enables what the, the modder considers cheats. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I am so excited. What an awesome mod. I now get to go to all of my settlements and add terminals here so that I can load the holotape. I tried it on my Pip-Boy, and you can use the, the holotape on your Pip-Boy, but it gives you very limited options. You only get a few different options, like mark all provisioners. You don't get some of the settlement-specific options. But now I get to put a terminal at each of my settlements and find all of the exact spawn locations and set up defenses and oh my goodness and my work is cut out for me and yeah, maybe i'll do it over a weekend sometime all right so there you go the settlement management mod it's going to make any uh, settlement builder's life so much easier in fallout 4 thanks for watching